check this out. Oh, the sunset, the sunrise is so beautiful, but you can't see any of it. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta be here, I guess. jet lag um so we'll see how the day goes hopefully take a nap later on it's currently time for the sun to be rising so jet lag got us because, um... a nice clean room everything is nice and organized starting to feel like home oh shit Say hello to our beautiful friend honey hello she's taking us to a coffee shop for breakfast <laughs> So we want to introduce you to some of the new friends over here. Hello. Hi, I'm Ellie from LA. <laughs> What's Very up? nice to meet you. Why are you in Mysore? Uh, doing yoga for six months. Beautiful. Yes. That's awesome. Very nice to meet you guys. Hi Dave, you want to say hello? Hi, I'm Dave. Here. <laughs> are you here, here for, for yoga? i two weeks yoga classes. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Hello. Hi, I'm Maya from Mumbai. I'm here for yoga as well uh, for a month. Awesome, thank you guys. Yeah, I'm supposed to stay for until the end of month. I miss my husband and my kid, so I changed my Not the thing that we want. Mm. We got the same thing. <laughs> All three of us. Oh, because I love that. I that I was having to eat. See you. Well, thank you. I feel like we found our new spot. This is our new spot. Like literally every day.
eating some yummy coconuts with the homegirl. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Don't you look like a gangster with that knife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, ask him if he can do coconut. Watch out. <laughs> okay, a panamudra. Oh, <laughs> get it. <laughs> what mudra? A panamudra. For digestion. <laughs> Perfect. No, it's like that. We were actually having it like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to twerk too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can I see your hair? Just go around. Yeah. Yes. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We are going to our favorite little spot to get some fruit or a smoothie before our first practice, our first official asana practice. Super, super excited about that. How are you feeling, Brie? Hot? Excited. Hot? It's a little warm. Today's a nice day. It's really not that bad. It's pretty hot. It's probably just the middle of the day. I don't really believe in uh, any kind of a religion or a dogma or anything. I just believe in dharma, which means universal principles. Energy is one, forms are many, but as it says, universe, one verse, one law for all. There is one energy which manifests all of us, animates life in us. So I just believe in dharma or universal principles. <laughs> That's beautiful. What's uh -huh. your name? Chirant. <laughs> is this your place, right? Uh -huh, yeah. This is your restaurant? <laughs> We're back again. <laughs> <laughs> Second time today. <laughs> you know, so many times, uh, you know, you never expect how it goes, but sometimes discussion gets so intense and so deep, you make a connection, and in the end, you wish you had recorded it because you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> today um, it was so intense but it was like good intense like I was really happy to know that like that's gonna be the next few weeks like it's gonna be good for us I think we're gonna be like super advanced totally gonna be able to master that by the end of it I have some sweet ass fucking bruises already going on the second class that we had was our meditation, pranayama, kind of like chanting stuff. Um, so it was really cool to kind of get a different perspective from it. It's really going to be hard to memorize all of these mantras. It was so memorize hard to all like, of them? I mean, eventually, those are all like mantras that we're doing for mm -hmm. each thing. I don't think we're going to be tested on this though. Not tested, but we're going to be doing it so often. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, like, four pages? Yeah, it's like four pages, four pages of, of mantras. <laughs> but they're, like, all for different things. Like, you do a certain mantra if you're going to do a certain sun salutation. You're going to do a mantra if you're going to do pranayama. There's a set mantra for each thing, which, you know, some of them, like, the ones that we do with the Ashtanga practice, um, those I think that we'll know pretty soon mm -hmm. because we're doing yeah. it so often. We're doing it every single day. So I'm kind of nervous about like my body, how it's going to be practicing every single day, like not having one rest day. I thought that we were going to have Sundays mm -hmm. off and we don't. We have like two hours of practice every single morning 
hour and a half to two hours. And then most days there's a second practice later on. So I'm just kind of, I know my body and I know that if it's worked too hard that's when injury occurs. So it'll be interesting to see how I progress, how you progress. But so far I'm really stoked on it. You know, it's not necessarily going to happen that way, but because there's so much going into every single day, we're in there for so many hours, it's hard to give your body the time it needs to recover. So we'll see. What about you? I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. Like, I never practiced seven consecutive days. Like, I think I've even done, like, five or six at the most. Yeah. And that's still not very often. I really have been and out of like practice. it's like three hours lately. of practice every day. Yeah, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Um, and excited to see like transformation take place. And I really have no idea. Like I have no expectations for what type of transformation is going to take place again. Yeah. But um, I'm excited to get fit again. We were like <laughs> sweating our balls off today. Like it was so hot in there, and, and like in the best possible way. And also, like, we're in India, so it's just, like, different. It's, like, like humid. I want to, like, be in a, a sports bra and shorts, but it's kind of, like, we're just not sure yet, you know. You just... But tomorrow we're practicing Nali, so um, we're supposed to wear a sports bra, so we're stoked on that. Yeah, so we were a little nervous at first. We didn't know we were allowed to wear shorts <laughs> or... But they're really laid but... back here, so... Happy about that. Understanding. They seem really, like, enlightened. Like, it's cool. Yeah. really inspiring like our our master as we are told to call him he is very much in tune with his practice and he, you can tell that he's not just reciting things from like a textbook it's, it's his life yeah. um, I'm really excited uh, especially with how much that we're working on pranayama yeah. and our breathing exercises uh, he made like a really good point tonight he was saying that you don't really I uh, think that you need it until you need it, yeah. uh, but I guess prevention is better than Well, essentially, prevention. like prana, you know, like you said, is life force. Pranayama is a type of controlled breath, so you're becoming really in tune with your body. So if you have any trouble with like, meditation whatsoever, pranayama really brings you into the present moment. So that's why it's there you know it's part of the eight limbs of ashtanga and it comes after the asana so essentially you know it's the next step towards samasmati or you know enlightenment so it's really crucial and even just finding like breath awareness that's a type of pranayama like really experiencing the breath and that's kind of like what we did tonight mm -hmm. we ex you know, t took our meditation and focused our awareness on our breath and our nose and, you know, the temperature of it as it comes in and it's cool and it comes out and it's hot and then, you know, that same sensation on the throat and then with the lungs, feeling them expand and contract. Becoming really aware of your body and learning about your own body by meditation that in that way. That's how you can heal yourself. You can know what to do with your body um, and become... I think a lot more in tune with your intuition, definitely. And, you know, Bree's already had some of the experiences tonight. I know me personally with pranayama and meditation and, and chanting and mantras, like I've had psychedelic experiences and, you know, she's had some tonight. So it's it's cool to see that, like, already happening. Um, I gotta be honest, it was a little bit difficult for me to be in class tonight because I'm super jet lagged. And I was like just trying not to fall asleep, but I just like loved every single thing that like was coming in. But my body is just like, whoa, it's tired. You should have seen us walking into class. We came we were really stumbling delirious. in. Like we were early. We've been good students so we far. We have been good. Um, we were like stumbling in, like literally talking gibberish. <laughs> yeah. Fragment sentences. Um, well, we woke up this morning at like, I woke up at two. She got up at three, so thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the... <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. The Savvy and Brie Show. Day two. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, those are the chronicles. Just kidding. Goodbye. Should we flash the camera? <laughs> I'll moon. Come on, Brie. Fuck you guys then. <laughs> Good night.